Four years after PLU opened, Bukharstad left to join the gold rush in Alaska to get PLU out of financial difficulty. He returned a year later, quote, penniless and decidedly goldless, end quote, but not ghostless. By 1917, Harstad had left the school, and a year later it closed down for two years, perhaps because the ghost, known to students as Charlotte, posed too great a threat. Directly across from Harstad Hall sits another haunted building, the Karen Hilly Phillips Center for the Performing Arts, which is the home of Matilda. The building used to be named after Seth Eastfold, another former president of PLU who died less than a year after retiring from his position. Eastfold wrote several books, including Immortality, Intermediate State and Final Issue, and Beyond the Grave. He was obviously interested in afterlife. Might he have opened a portal in KHP, releasing Matilda so she could play with us forever and ever? The final poltergeist, the Hinderly Hermit, remains an enigma, but its location is important. If you look at a campus map, you can see that a straight line connects all of PLU sites of paranormal activity. That means Mary Baker Russell is next. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Not only does it lie on the line, but it shares something in common with the rest of the buildings. Music. Harstad has a less obvious connection to music, but since it used to be the Old Main, it was the only place to put on musical events or teach music. KHP hosts night of musical theater, concerts, and other musical events, and Hinderly is the residence hall for creative expression. For some reason, all of the ghosts hate PLU's music program and haunt any place associated with it. MBR may be possessed sooner than we know. Former President Christ stepped down from his position last year, and the act of calling spirits, evocation, is eerily similar to his favorite subject, vocation. All these years, he has been trying to warn students. He even set up a ghost-busting unit within campus safety made up of students associated with the music program, conveniently located in the same building as the original ghost. Campus safety posted a job for a communications officer at the beginning of the year that practically gave away their secret. Officers were supposed to be able to, quote, prioritize call responses based on department, end quote, a separate ghost-busting department and they had to be able to, quote, maintain various activity logs, end quote, paranormal activity logs. Obviously, the secret society uses their sixth sense to keep PLU's ghost situation a secret from the rest of the student body. So to the members of this society, whoever you are, thank you for your service to us and to the school.